there's two types of, of height that are typically measured. One is the total height of the tree or total tree height. Um, that's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, and then the other height that we are, are interested in and typically measure is what we call merchantable height. And that's the, the point up and down along the, the main tree stem uh, that has merchantability. And so we're gonna either measure merchantable height or total height. And generally, regardless of whether you're measuring merchantable height or total height, you, you do it the same way. And we'll show a couple methods where, that you can use to, to, measure, to measure tree height and, and merchantable height. Now, height's important uh, because we can use it um, to, uh, as part of the equation for determining tree volume, uh, the actual volume of saw timber pulpwood that, that is in a tree. Uh, we can also use it to determine the, the productivity of the site. And foresters commonly use tree height as part of the, uh, one of the measures that goes in to determine us how productive a, a site is. Uh, so there's various reasons uh, we need to measure height and it is an important measure. Uh, let's look at a couple tools that we can use to measure tree height. Um, one of them is called a, it's got a, kind of an odd name, it's called a Sunto, that's the name of the company, a Sunto Clinometer. And you may see foresters use this, uh, very typically used as a, as a visual means of measuring either merchantable height or, or total tree height. And we'll show you how this works here in a minute. And the other thing that is typically used, uh, and, and this is a lot more affordable for most uh, uh, landowners and woodland owners, is a tree scale stick. Now, on this tree scale stick, it has, on the edge of it, it, it has a scale. Um, and, and this is the scale we're looking at here. And of course the zero end is down here. And you notice as you move up the scale, there's this one, two, three, four, and five that's on this scale. And those numbers represent uh, 16 foot logs. Now it, when we're measuring saw timber, uh, logs are the common unit of measurement uh, as far as height goes. And so one here on this scale represents uh, one 16 foot log. So we're going to use this to measure the merchantable height of the tree in logs. It's good to be able to visualize what a 16 foot log looks like on a tree. And a good way to do that is to take a, take a height pole like I've got here and I'm going to extend it uh, to 16 feet. So we're at the 16 foot mark here. Now, if we want to know uh, what the first uh, 16 foot log on this tree is, we would, uh, of course, we're on the uphill side. We hold, the, hold this stick on the uphill side and uh, hold it uh, one foot off the ground. That's typical stump height. And then we can look up here and we can extend, extend the pole up. And the top of this pole is at the top of the first 16 foot log uh, that's in this tree. So that gives you some idea uh, of what a log looks like. And of course, we can use that to determine the merchantable height and ultimately uh, the volume of the tree as well. Whether you're using the Sunto clinometer or a tree scale stick, um, it works by you standing a prescribed distance from the tree. And then we're gonna visually look back at the tree and measure the merchantable or the total height. In the case of this particular scale here, you need, it'll say here that you need to be standing 66 feet uh, from the tree. So typically the way we do that is we take a tape, a tape measure. In this case, we'll use one that's 100 foot long and we will, I'm gonna grab a stick here and put it next to the edge of this tree. I'm gonna take my 100 foot tape and drop it onto that stick. And now, as soon as we do that, we're gonna take this tape and pace out um, 66 foot from this tree. So now that we're standing 66 foot from the tree, uh, we can look at the tree real quick and determine the point at the tree where the merchantable height stops. So if we, if we look over at the tree and we start scanning up the main stem of the tree, and eventually we'll get to a point where there's a large branch that comes out to the left-hand side, and that will be our cutoff for our merchantable height uh, for, for our main stem. Now, if we wanted to measure the total height of the tree, of course, we would look and measure the height all the way to the top branches. Uh, but for right now, let's go through the process of determining uh, the number of logs that are in the merchantable height of the tree. Um, so to do that, we're gonna take our tree scale stick 
and with the scale that's used for determining the number of logs in a tree. And the way this works is we're going to hold the stick 25 inches from our eye. And most foresters have been trained to know what that is in their reach. And for me, it's I, I hold my elbow just a little bit bent. You're going to hold it 25 inches right over your 66 foot mark on the tree. Now, we're going to adjust this stick up and down this way. And we're going to position the bottom of the stick right here uh, against on the uphill side of that tree uh, right at, 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 the, at the stump height, which is which is about a foot off the ground. So when you're looking at it from 66 foot, it's pretty close to the ground. You're gonna hold it there like this, hold it straight up and down. I'm gonna leave my head in place and I'm gonna glance up the stick and to where I visually see that branch uh, coming out the left-hand side of the tree, I'm gonna see where that falls on my stick. And when I view it this way, uh, it's right about uh, three logs in height. So in this case, that, um, that height of that, uh, the merchable height of that tree was one, two, three, 16 foot logs. So we would say that it's a three log tree. You can convert that over to feet if you would like, uh, multiplying each of these uh, logs by 16 foot. So that tree would contain uh, three uh, 16 foot logs and that's, uh, that would be its merchable height. Uh, the Sunto clinometer that we looked at a minute ago um, it can give you that same height uh, in feet, both for the merchantable height and for the total height. And that's awful useful uh, for some aspects of forestry. But these are two common ways that you can, you can measure tree height. Now there's one other way if you don't have a tree scale stick or you don't have a Sunto clinometer, and you can use a yard stick. And the way that typically works um, is take a common yard stick like you, you can find anywhere, you've got the yardstick. And, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna find the, the 25 inch mark on that yardstick. And you're gonna hold that yardstick 25 inches uh, from your eye. Okay? And what you're gonna do is, in this case, you're gonna go stand 50 foot from the tree. Okay? So we're gonna move up here and stand at my 50 foot mark, which is right here. And I'm gonna hold that yardstick up and position the bottom of the yardstick uh, right at the bottom of the tree on the uphill side. Okay. And I'm going to um, take the measurement, uh, my measurement off there where my merchantable height is. And from that, I can multiply it by two, the number of inches it was, multiply it by two, and that's the merchantable height uh, of this tree. So there's several different ways to measure uh, height. It is an important measurement and it's one uh, most woodland owners uh, would be wise to, to know how to do that and, uh, and you'd be able to talk to foresters uh, about, about merchantable height and, about, and eventually about volume and by having a feel for the merchantable height of your trees uh, it, it certainly helps.